In this video, we will go over another nodal analysis example, but in this circuit analysis problem, we will consider uh, multiple sources. So we'll see an example with two voltage sources, and the circuit diagram that we are going to use for this example video is shown over here. It has two voltage sources, V1, which we are having a DC voltage as five volts. And you have another known voltage source, V2, another DC source with two volts. We have five nodes in this circuit diagram that have been highlighted. The ones in green are known voltages. So at node A, the voltage VA is going to be equal to V1, which equals five volts. And at node D, nodal voltage VD is going to equal V2, that also equals two volts. VE is our reference node in this example, and we are using zero volts for the reference node. VB and VC are our two nodal voltages that are unknown in this example. All the resistor elements are known, and we are using values of two ohms, one ohm, four ohms, and so on. So the goal for this video is to apply nodal analysis at nodes B and C, so these two nodes right here. So to begin this example, I'll first try to answer what are our two known voltages and what are our unknown quantities in this example, the unknown voltages. So for known voltages, we have nodes VA and VD as our two known voltages. VA simply equals V1, simply equals 5 volts. In the same manner, VD equals V2 equals 2 volts. For our unknown voltages, we have two of them at nodes B and C. So VB and VC are our two unknowns. So this is an example in which we have two known inputs and two unknown outputs. Uh, let us see if we can write KCL equations at node B and node C in order to find these two unknowns. And this is going to be very similar to what we have seen for examples in which we had one source. So if we apply a nodal uh, equation, KCL equation at node B, we would say the current going out in this direction plus that plus that equals zero. So let's do that very quickly. We say VB minus VA. Let me write that as V1 divided by 2 ohms plus VB divided by 4 ohms plus VB minus VC divided by 1 ohm equals 0. Similarly, for node C, I have VC minus VB divided by 1 ohm plus VC divided by 2 ohms plus VC minus the known voltage VD, which also equals V2 divided by 4 ohms equals 0. Now, I've got these two equations, which can be simplified and rewritten in this manner. So I've got two equations here. I'm expressing VB, VC, uh, the linear combination of VB and VC equals this constant, which is V1 divided by two. V1, as you know, is a known voltage five. So right-hand side is actually 2.5, but I'm choosing for now to write this as V1 divided by two. In the same manner for the second equation, I've got equation two. So all of this is, uh, sort of repetition from the uh, previous lab video, but let's try to answer this question now. Can we express VB and VC in terms of V1 and V2? If you notice, equation 1 and 2 are doing a slightly different job. In equation 1, the linear combination of VB and VC is expressed as V1, and in the same manner, we have VB and VC in the second equation expressing V2. We want to switch this around and express VB in terms of V1 and V2 and express Vc in terms of V1 and V2. And we can do that using substitution. So let's see if we can do that for uh, these two equations. So from equation one, I can find Vc, which is simply going to be 1.75 Vb minus V1 divided by two. And I can substitute this in the second equation, which is negative VB plus 1.75 VC. So in the place of VC, 
I write 1.75 VB minus V1 divided by 2. equals v2 divided by 4 so all of this is vc from the first step now if i re rearrange this equation i have negative vb plus 3.0625 vb minus 0 0.875 v1 equals v2 divided by 4 and for the simplification gives me VB equals 0 0.424 V1 plus 0 0.121 V2 now let's talk about this result what does this mean this means that the node voltage VB which is an unknown quantity is a linear combination of the two known voltages V1 and V2. In fact, if you did this similar exercise for VC, you would get another equation for VC, which is, which can be expressed as a linear combination of V1 and V2, but with different values, so different slopes. So this is how we could use uh, superposition to express any unknown quantity as a scaled and summed version of all the sources in your circuit. I hope this helps.